Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm about to do a commission. It's going to be based on the painting just behind me, um, which were yellow flowers, um, supposed to look like sunflowers. Um, they're not 100% sunflowers, but they're, they're just pretty yellow, yellow flowers. Um, so based on those uh, yellow blooms, and I'm going to do it in the shape of a heart. Um, I've done lots of hearts before, um, but all the hearts I've done have had really small blooms. These, because the detail really is in the centre of these blooms, um, I want to do less of them and then be able to blow them out further so that they're larger. Um, so it's going to be a bit different to, to anything I've done before. Um, so let's get started. My canvas is 30 centimetres square. So I'm using white for the base. It's Amsterdam white. It's this, and it's mixed with Flood Floatrol. All my paints are mixed with Flood Floatrol, except for the cell activator. I'll put the recipes in the description. So first of all, just going to cover the base. shape I've got a piece of paper folded it in half and drew round um, what I think looks like half a half a heart and then open it up and I've got the heart shape I want so I know that it's symmetrical so my plan now is to cut just the very edge of this heart out and I'm going to then put that onto the paint I'm only doing the very edge and a very thin layer because it's going to pull up a bit of paint and I don't want it to, I don't want to put the whole heart down. It will just pull up all that lovely paint I've just put down. So I've now, it gets a bit fiddly, but I've now just got the edge of the heart. So I'm going to just place this down. It is a bit fiddly, but I think it will be worth it doing it this way. The good thing about this is I know I've got the shape, the heart shape that I want, and I know that it's symmetrical. So it's just a really good place to start from. Because if you don't get the heart shape right, the whole composition will be off, the whole painting will be off. Right, so I'm just pushing that down into the paint so it sticks so that I know that it's flat. Because if it's not flat, it won't be the right shape. Right, and now I'm just checking that it's in the right position. So um, these edges, I'm just checking they're the right distance apart. The gap there, the gap there. Right, happy with that. So the next step, I'm going to use tiny little push pins and just place them spike upwards around the edge. So this then just gives me an even smaller or even finer template to work to. Because then when I lift these pins up, they're going to the the paint that I blow out isn't going to hopefully touch them and they're going to pull up even less paint at the end. Right, so what I can do now is lift up the paper. So I can still see the shape of the heart where I pulled the, pa the paper up, 
so that could be one way to guide me but i want to fill that in because i, I want the paint the white paint to be even so when i blow around um with, on the blooms they are going to to flow nice and easily so i'm using four colors here i'm using um quite an orangey yellow some iridescent yellow um orange yellow some lighter yellow which is cadmium yellow and then some bronze and i'm going to put them down in this order so i'm going to start off with a little tiny drop um i think i'm going to tr my aim is to do one bloom there one bloom there and then i'm not sure <laughs> I wonder, do you know, I wonder if I could do this with just three blooms. Is that going to be enough? This is new territory because I would normally do small blooms, but then you just miss out on all the lacing. I'm just looking back at the blooms that I've already done. They probably are about that size. Okay. Let's go with it, see what happens. My instincts is telling me one there, one there, and one there. I think that's what I'm going to do. So five. Yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that because they're actually all quite evenly spaced. Cell Activator is also mixed with um, white, um, Amsterdam white, but this time it's Australian Floatrol. And this has been mixed three parts Australian Floatrol to one part water. It's just a little bit thicker in consistency than all the, the Dutch pour paints that I use. Um, and I do all my measurements by weight. So 30 grams of Australian Floatrol to 10 grams of paint. Right, here goes. Where do I even start? I want to start up here, I think. Right, I'm really, really taking my time because I want to get this right. I've got to get this shape right. I'm going to do this roughly and then I'm going to remove the pins and then try and get a more even edge. Right, so far so good. I've got a lot of work to do, but I feel happy with the lacing. I feel happy with the the size of this of the blooms. I definitely have um, the right number of blooms on here. I think. So I'm now just going to. I think I'm actually going to leave the pins on. I'm now just going to do some extra blowing around the edge just to push that out to the border.
So I finished blowing around and twiddling with it now. Um, I'm really happy with it. The size of the heart in relation to the canvas works. Um, what I would quite like to do, I'm going to ask the client first, um, but is when it's dried, but actually put a border around it. Um, I've done some other hearts and I put borders around it and it just finished it off. And especially because it's a white base with relatively light colours. Um, so I'm hoping that she will say yes to that so I can do that because I just think it will finish it off. Um, I added um, at the end just a few swirls because I decided that five blooms you could just see a white line there, a white line there. You could just see the white lines between all the flowers. So I've just pulled them together with some little swirly bits. One thing I'm really happy with are all the edges. Oh, sorry about the shadow. Um, all the edges. Um, they are, I love irregular edges, but they also form a straight line or a curve. So they're irregular. They're all over the place, which is really sunflower-like because sunflowers, all the little petals at the edge make the edges really um, irregular. Um, and But they still keep the shape of the heart really well. Um, the lacing, um, let me show you, there we go. I did a little swirl in the centre of that one because there was a bit too much white. But the lacing is beautiful and it almost looks 3D. I mean, look at that. It really does look like there's there's depth and you can see shimmer there from the orange and from the bronze. So, yeah, really, really pleased how this has gone. So I will be back when it's dry. So here's the dry painting. Um, I haven't touched it. So I had some discussions with the client and she would rather we left the border, which is absolutely fine. Um, and so, yeah, I've left it exactly as, as when it was wet. Um, I'm so pleased with it. I love the shape. I spent ages getting the shape right of the heart. Um, I love the fact that when you look up close, you've got all these details. Um, I love these all these irregular edges. Um, so it's so irregular. And yet it's still all a straight line. It's still all the right, the correct shape for the heart. Um, I'm really pleased I did a little bit of um, uh, wrecking just in the centre there, just to pull the paint together. I think it would have looked such a shame to have really obvious white lines throughout the heart. Um, I love the details. But that bronze, let me show you here. Oh, let me focus. Look how iridescent it is. It's so pretty. And the orange, but it's the bronze that really stands out to me. Just so shimmery and shiny. I will let this cure for three weeks and then I will put some high gloss varnish on it. And that will just really highlight that beautifully, that iridescence. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me any comments or any thoughts you have. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.